Hi and welcome to another episode of Stoic Lifting, a series where I take Asian wisdom and apply it to modern life. Today's quote is from not one of the Roman Stoics, but by a more contemporary Stoic. It's Viktor Frankl, and the quote is, Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. Viktor Frankl was uh, alive during the Second World War. He was one of the few who survived being in a concentration camp. After he was released, he wrote a book called Man's Search for Meaning, which is on my reading list. I haven't read it yet, but I will. And the point with this quote is, what separates us from animals is that we have as humans, the cognitive ability to reflect upon our reaction. We have the power of abstract thinking. So when we experience something, we, contrary to animals, have the option to choose our response. Um, a few months ago, I cut myself on my finger while cooking and my immediate reaction was, oh no, I was gonna do curls today in the gym and I can't do that now, so. But aside from that, I think a few years ago, I would have reacted with maybe some panic, maybe some fear. Oh, how deep is the cut? Oh, it's bleeding. And I might, you know, overreact to that. But this time my reaction was, hmm. Am I going to call my own doctor or am I going to call the emergency room? I chose not to react with fear, with panic. I chose to see this as an event that had happened. And now it was up to me to choose the appropriate reaction. And I don't think it's appropriate to start screaming or, you know, getting nauseous from seeing the blood and, and stuff. So. I decided to use my cognitive ability to reflect upon my situation and choose to make a more, I don't know, mature decision. But Victor Frankl wanted to learn us that one of the greatest gifts we have as humans is our ability to take in the world around us and then choose how we would like to respond to it. Of course, it's not appropriate in all situations, say that you are cooking and you put your hand on the hot stove, your reaction should immediately be to remove your hand. So it's not those kind of situations that I'm talking about because sometimes the immediate impulse to react to something is the right decision. But normally, if you just take a few seconds to think about what would the best reaction to this be? In many cases, you're going to end up responding in a way that's more appropriate and more beneficial. Say that you missed a lift in the gym. Instead of just screaming, fuck, like some of my gym mates do, I would simply just practice because this takes practice. It takes practice to develop this pattern of behavior where you don't immediately react to something. But I would simply just think what went wrong and then put the weight down and think about my next set instead of just reacting with rage. Because if you react with rage to missing a lift, what good is it going to do to you? I don't think I'm going to add any more to this quote, even though there is most certainly plenty to add to it. I'm just gonna emphasize that you have the ability to choose your response to what occurs to you, to how people talk to you, to what happens in the gym, what happens at work. It's within your control. Thank you for watching this episode of Stoic Lifting. Who knows what I'm gonna talk about next time?